Hi family, welcome to Holy Communion where we break bread and if this is your first time, my name is Bonolo Mpofu and you are very welcome in this platform. So today I just wanted to revisit Genesis 28 because the spirit of the living God spoke to me about it that you forgot about this thing or I had not yet showed you because this morning um, as I was preparing myself, the scripture just came back and he said, I want you to um, emphasize on this. So it's Genesis 28 verse 1 and Genesis 28 verse 1 says, when Isaac finished blessing Jacob, he told him, I don't want you to take a wife from the Canaanite woman I want you to go to Padam Haram to the house of your mother's father and find a wife there now what's important about Genesis 28 verse 1 it addresses the issue of being equally yoked there was a reason why Isaac was telling Jacob that I don't want you to take a woman from the Canaan land it's because the women of Canaan they were raised under a different doctrine they believe in different gods they have a different type of um, teaching that they have been sitting under and they worship false gods now when you become yoked with someone like that especially as a woman the bible says women submit to your husband husbands love your wives so if you are submitting to your husband if your husband is from a canaan land then you have to be submissive to the canaanite teachings and the canaanite things so hence um isaac was telling jacob that do not take a woman from this land because these people they don't know our god they don't sit uh, under the same authority they don't sit under the same holy spirit they don't um they they don't believe in jesus christ so it's important that when you choose to get into a courtship with someone you understand that you have to be equally yoked with that person even from the time of courtship when someone tells you i don't believe in jesus or i don't understand jesus there is no um there's no reason why you should be why you should even begin in engaging in that courtship or in that relationship because that person is only telling you that I am not going to be converted once we are married so to to save yourself from the stress of having to pray for someone having to be um, tied up to someone because the Bible even says when you are the one who's saved when you are the one who is who knows Jesus who's filled with the Holy Spirit you cannot leave that person you cannot leave that person only when the person decides to leave you are you freed from this covenant it's important that you go to the house of your mother's father go to the house of your mother's father where the people believe in Jesus they believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit and of water they believe that Jesus died and resurrected Jesus died for our sins and resurrected and is seated in heavenly places on the right hand of the Father but prophet and man to gain the whole world you are gaining your husband a status of a married you are gaining the marriage symbol what profits you to be a married woman and lose your soul in the process so it's very important get into courtship with someone who believes in jesus not in their words also in their actions also in how they do things also in what their life preaches does their life preach the the, the person they say they are serving it's very important may the lord bless you i don't know who it's for but it, it was important that i make this video for that person in the mighty name of jesus